everybody. Today I want to talk about building out my first Cine Lifter. It's a Shendrone Stick 2.1. Built this about a month ago. Uh, running Brother Hobby 2808 1350 KV motors, eight of them. Uh, it's called an X8 in the game. Running HQ props, uh, seven inch, seven by four by three. I have a lot from my other seven inch build behind me here. So I just figured stick with the same ones. Running the Hobby Wing 60 amp four and one ESC, as you can see here. Here's my Lumineer Lux H7 HD flight controller. The way I had to set this up with these pre-installed capacitors on the ESCs was I have to run the flight controller underneath one of the ESCs to have clearance. Um, but then you can see that I kind of pigtailed the XT90 connector uh, by running both power leads into the 90 XT90 connection here. Um, that's, that's kind of a beast to pull off with the 12 AWG wire into one XT90, but it's pretty slick. And uh, since I did that, I can run bigger 6S batteries with just an XT90 connector and I don't have to deal with running multiple batteries. Uh, you can see that's kind of the bottom setup here. One big fat 5,000 milliamp 6S battery Slides in here and then just Velcros down. Pretty slick. Running Crossfire Diversity uh, Nano. Nano Diversity right here, you can see. Uh, this guy I had to take off to redo, but usually it's running perpendicular to this antenna up front. Just installed a cap onto this flight controller uh, because I was noticing really bad spikes at about 40 hertz, 40 to 50 hertz in the logging on the pitch axis, uh, P and D, I was getting insane spikes. It didn't start at first, and then after a few days of test flights, um, it really kicked in, and you can hear it even when you take off. It sounds like the motors are oscillating, trilling, whatever you want to call it. Still pretty new to the whole black box game, but understanding enough now to know what is affecting this thing. Um, so that's why I'd read online a lot of people put caps on to help clean the power up. So I'm going to try that out, put this back together, and then do some test flights and fingers crossed that's going to be the problem solve problem solver for me on these nasty 40 hertz spikes. Uh, one big thing too that I'm not doing that a lot of people are is they're running BEX uh, to power the air unit, but this board says it's got a designated BEC built in to be able to power the air unit. So I want to trust that, which mm, we'll see. So far so good, no issues though. Uh, having the video feed freeze during any sort of punches or full throttle moves. So I'm digging that. I'm running a MaTeX GPS unit here. Super reliable, super handy to be able to tell position. I don't have any GPS rescue set up on it. I'm not really trying to rely on that, uh, but I at least like having the coordinates, the speed, the altitude, um, being able to just take all the data from a GPS and do that. Other things, because of these capacitors on the ESC, I had to go bigger standoff. It was pretty tough to be able to smoosh these things in with the stock standoffs that it came with, which I think were 20 mil a meter, 20 millimeter. I don't think that really affects the center and gravity too much at all. I mean, the Z cam that I run on top of this, I'll post what it actually looks like built back together, is giant. Well, it has got makes it have a very tall center of gravity. So not too concerned about going a little wider on components. Uh, I went with the 2808s because I didn't think I'd be running uh, eight inch props too much. Uh, a lot of people say like 2812 and above is your best point for running eight inch props. Uh, I kind of, some other folks are running 2806 and a half and going seven inch props. So I just kind of went with the in between knowing that it'll be a good motor for using seven inch, but also potentially I can run eight inch if I want. We'll see though. But really like this thing, you know, right now with Betaflight 4.3 and some of the release candidates, some boards not necessarily liking some of those new release candidates. There's been a little bit of trickery to 
program the flight controller and all eight motors to get that to communicate. But overall, it's pretty similar to setting something, setting a quad build up. Tuning is a whole different ball game, um, but it's kind of the typical like test flight, move sliders, test flight, move sliders, just doing it really slow, starting with baseline default settings on everything. And then just, there's a ton of information out there online on tuning. And there's a lot of people who are way better at it than I am, who've given out a lot of good information on where to start and how to progress through it. But other than that, I'll uh, post some footage. Uh, the first flight chasing some of my buddies on their dirt bikes. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm going to keep pumping out more content as the summer goes on. So enjoy. Cheers.